Okay, it has been, woo, quite a week in Toronto sports. The Leafs gearing up for what hopefully, hopefully is going to be a long playoff run. The Jays finally finding that footing on home turf and the Raptors. Uh, it's maybe a forgettable season. We'll get to Lindsay Dunn right now joining us with everything because Lindsay, wow, it was I, I was walking to Rogers Center last night for the home opener and you just see the flood of people. It, it was it was excitement no matter where you were going or what you were doing. It's pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome when you talk about that forgettable season for the Raptors. It's also not forgettable because of all the crazy, you know, storylines. And you talk about flood of fans going to the Rogers Center last night. Well, tonight they'll all be making the way to Scotiabank Arena for the Toronto Raptors last home game of the season because they got nowhere near the playoffs this year. It has been a wild ride. We can't even go through all the storylines right now. We don't have enough time, but you go from, you know, the trading of Pascal Siakam, OG Ananobi to some really interesting gambling prop bet allegations against one of the players on the team. Honestly, this was just a season that kept on giving. We also had a pizza party that happened. But tonight, it's the final home game. They're taking on none other than Pascal Siakam and the Indiana Pacers. Darko Ryakovich, this is his first season as head coach of the team. And the practice, well, their final practice at home this season was a little different. Take a listen. We did some uh, out of the box uh, stuff today with guys just to continue keeping them engaged and uh, we had actually players today to show us some clips and uh, to coach us and to tell us uh, what they're seeing on the court so it was it was a great day for us very good very good okay let's talk about on the ice there was a woman as I was leaving Rogers Center also Scotiabank was kind of filtering out and there were just people high-fiving all across the board lots of Leafs fans out there pretty pumped Oh, yes, it was an entertaining game last night. Pretty much if you were watching the Blue Jays or behind me at Scotiabank Arena, the Leafs taking on the Penguins. Of course, some drama there between the teams when you look at the GM of the Penguins, which is Kyle Dubas, who was formerly with the Leafs, and former player Jason Spezza, who was in the Leafs' eventual front office, then went with Spezza to the Penguins. So there's like that little bit of, you know, extra sweetness when they beat the Penguins. But you have the legend of Sid the Kid on the team. It went to over team Austin Matthews getting his 64th goal of the season after the game Sydney praised Matthews and here's Matthews reacting reacting rather to that moment I mean it's nice words obviously coming from you know Sid and uh, just who he is what he's accomplished so um, you know, I have the utmost respect for him so obviously hearing that it's very humbling and um, you know for myself like nothing really changes it's just one game at a time and trying to go out there and compete and help the team win he's himself he's poised just going about his business uh, you know it's you know he, he, uh, he loves to score goals, but it, you know he's 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 not putting that ahead of the team. It's incredible, man. It's um, you know we're now just as much as you guys are watching, and um, you know I, what I like most about his game is uh, obviously he's scoring for us, but um, his defensive details are are top notch. Yeah, I mean it's it's still crazy. You know, 60 was crazy. 65, it's. Uh, you know, you kind of look at it and awe. It's, it's it's pretty incredible what we can do. And um, yeah, cross my fingers. You know, I want to see 70 for sure. I think we all want to see 70, Linz. Okay, now let's talk about what happened last night at Rogers Center. <laughs> Jose Barrios, what a spectacular game, and everyone cheering. Like it felt like it was a different energy for them being at home. Which I don't know what the history has said in the past, but I don't think typically home openers take home a win. But this one, this one did them well. <laughs> I loved it. There were so many little moments throughout the game. Like you mentioned Jose Barrios, and I know a lot of fans don't want to talk about the wild card series last year, but that controversial moment where he was pulled from the game, well, you know, you go to yesterday, rewind when he was taken off the mound after having an electric start, that John Schneider got booed, and I couldn't help but laugh about it. And then he was asked after the game, and he said, hey, you know, he's not going to be able to stay out the entire game every single time. So basically, everybody chill. But it was such a nice moment for so many players, including Davis Schneider. It was his first home opener in Major League Baseball. He said he was taking in the moment. He had a lot of friends and family here. And going into the game, they had 10 games on the road because the Rogers Center was finishing, you know, that $400 million renovations of Phase 2. They got the win, and Davis, with my favorite quote of the season so far, he kind of addressed all of the naysayers going into last night's game. Yeah, I mean, we played three good teams on the road trip, you know, Tampa, Houston, the Yankees. Um, you know, we got four wins out of it. You know, a lot of people are saying the season was over um, after 10 games, which is funny because uh, we play 162. But, you know, we have a really good ball club. You know, we're, we won four games, and we didn't really hit that well. And, you know, that's a testament to our pitching and, you know, and a testament to, 
how good of a hitting staff that we have just because you know we're not really producing like the way we should but today showed differently i mean this is i feel like the team that we can have every single night absolutely and Lindsay, you know what i got i gotta get myself one of those stashes i gotta get myself a david schneider stash We'll Very work good. on it. We'll both get one. <laughs> All right, let's get you a quick look at U.S. college basketball. UConn Huskies coming out on top in the men's NCAA championship, beating out the Purdue Boilermakers 75-60 to on Monday night. The Huskies capturing back-to-back -back national titles. They are the first team to accomplish the feat since 2007. Toronto native Zach Eady, who stands just 7'4", no big deal, led the Boilermakers with 37 points.